Guys, in this video, we are going to be creating a multi-column picker in our Android slash iPhone app. And it basically looks like this. We have uh, two columns, two pickers on the left. In this example, I used a burger, sushi, pasta, sandwich and stuff. And on my right, I used uh, drinks, so Coke, water and stuff. And then when I select both my left and my right, I'm going to, it's going to say I like pasta and I drink Sprite. Now, uh, I didn't code all of them however if I only selected uh, say for example Apple on the left and I didn't select anything on the right so I didn't touch anything on the right it's going to say I like Apple so much and if I go back go to sandwich it's supposed to say I like sandwiches so much however I didn't code that so it's just going to say like it's going to say I like Apple so much because it's not going to execute any code and if I add lemonade to it I like Apple and I drink lemonade like so okay so let's start coding Okay, so I've got a brand new app.js, all we need to do is start, uh, create a new uh, titanium mobile project and delete whatever is on, uh, sorry, on, uh, that was written in the app.js or if you've been following my video, all you need to do is just clean app.js and that's it. So let's, for starters, create file win equals ti.ui.create window and in here, like usual, just change the background or set the background colour to white. I think I'm going to make this a two-part video because when I first try recording it, which failed miserably, miserably was like 20 mistakes. It took me about 20, the recording was like 20 minutes long and that's going to be too long to watch and it's going to be too boring in the last 10, 15, 10, 5 minutes. So I'm going to make this a two-part video and stop when it's past the 10 minutes line. So I'm going to stop yeah in about eight minutes okay so I've got my uh, window and the first thing I want to do is create our two columns so as I showed you in my completed app I'm going to create one for food and one for drink okay so I'm going to say var food column equals and uh, let's just watch I do tie dot ui dot create oops, picker column like that and I'm going to set the width of this to 180 so width width is 180 and what I'm also going to do is say var drink column equals tie.ui.create picker column and that width it's also going to be 180 but it doesn't, it's optional if I want to write it or not because the length of the the width of the app screen is 180 and in the iPhone at least and that's already set to 180 so it's going to be the width of the screen minus 180 but I'm just going to set it to 180 for now okay and the next thing I want to do is to add our array of values into both or write down the array of values for food and drink so I'm going to go above the food column and the drink column and say var food equals array okay and inside here the structure is going to be a curly brackets and inside it title uh, say for example I don't know hamburgers or something and then a column and then a value and again uh, a string inside or it could be uh, I don't know a number so that's going to be the structure of the value of the array. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the title, I'm just going to say like sushi. And in here, I might just say JP for Japan. And if I'm doing a hamburger, I'm just going to do AM for America or something. I skip over the part where I took like two minutes or so thinking of which food to write and so on because that's going to waste too much time and I wrote sushi, hamburger, sandwich, pasta, apple and duck as each of the array titles or the value titles and then for each of them I wrote just the two, the what do you call it, the country where it famous as so sushi is japan so jp hamburgers america so am sandwich is england so en and so on and okay so that's it and a semicolon at the end okay the last the next thing we want to do is do exactly the same for our drinks so array drink and then inside here one two three four five six as well and for a drink i could say i don't know coke 
and I don't really care, I'm just going to write Coke as well again in the values. Okay, so after you've done writing all the uh, values in, the title and the vowel into each of the six, or each of the array values, so six in total, we are going to go to the next step. Uh, step. My tongue isn't functioning properly today, I can't speak. Okay, so in my last video when we uh, created a single picker, all we did was manually added each of the values inside into our picker. However, that's inefficient. And in this video, we are going to be using a for loop, uh, yeah, for loop, in order to uh, add all of them inside here. So underneath our food column, above our drink column, it doesn't matter, but I, just, I want to place all the food stuff into one place. So in here, I'm going to say for something, and then. Uh, a code that gets executed. So for uh, var, I don't know, x equals zero, <coughs> sorry, and then semicolon, uh, x is less than, uh, what was it, food dot length and x plus plus. Now what that means is because these uh, values start with an array zero, one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, I started the variable x with 0, so uh, it's going to loop each uh, x with x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until it's, the x is less than foo.length. Okay, so that means that foo.length is basically uh, the number of stuff inside the array for food, which is 6. So if, it's, uh, if it gets less, smaller than the foo.length, then it's going to stop and it's going to increase in value every time. So let's do this. Uh, for blah blah blah, what we want to do is food column, which is this one, the picker column for the left, food column dot add row, and inside that tie dot ui dot create picker row, and again inside that we are going to say. Uh, title is uh, food and it's going to be x because I want it to be uh, zeros for this, one for this, two for this and so on and dot title and val is uh, food and x dot val and Oop, yep, that's it, and the semicolon at the end, and there we go. I think it's fine. <coughs> and we are going to be creating the exact same thing, except the food is going to be the drinks for our drinks column. So let's copy that, give it some space, and yep, but instead of food, it's going to be drink, drink, and drink there we go okay the third thing we want to do is cr actually create our picker so underneath here we are going to write var picker equals tie.ui.create picker and we are going to have a couple of properties inside so a uh, selection indicator is going to be true in oops I screwed up big time in this in k ta equals true. How's the length going? It's nine minutes, so one minute more. It's true. And the use spinner is also true. What that means for Android is that, oh, I forgot the comma, is that it's going to uh, use the, what do you call it, the nice uh, spinning visual effect instead of that boring click prompt option click on one uh, uh, prompt window closes and that option gets selected one which gets used by default in the Android so you spin event uh, properties is going to be true and the type is we are going to be using uh, tie.ui dot uh, picker picker underscore type underscore plain plain okay uh, this is one of the picker types I'm using plain because I it's the most convenient one in this uh, 
Example, if you want to uh, look at all the other options, just go to the API documentation and it's going to tell you nicely all the other picker types. So picker type is going to be plain. I want that to be, I don't know, 150 from the top because I want the label to be above that. And the height is going to be about 200 pixels. And the columns, which I am going to declare now, is going to be the food column on the right and the drink column column on the left okay how's the time well 10 minutes let me quickly just write the label and i'll stop the video here okay so var results equals tie.ui.create label what that is 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 the result of what you picked in the picker so i want it to display what i've picked uh, as a label text above the picker so the text by default is going to be my uh, favorite foods and or food and drink food and drink okay and it's going to be 25 pixels from the top because I want it to be above the picker which is 150 pixels from the top and the width is going to be auto because it's going to change depending on what food slash drink I choose it is going to be 25% uh, text align, I want that to be in the center of the screen, not on the left or not on the right, so center and that's it. So there we go. Okay, in the next video I am going to be continuing on with creating the multi column picker and I am going to be adding the event listener to it and adding the picker and the results to the window and opening the window and then uh, lastly checking it with the and uh, iPhone simulator and hopefully my Android emulator is going to work which has been failing for the last couple of hours.